Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends. We've been getting a lot of emails about the hoop garden, so we just wanted to give you a quick update on what it's doing this year. So this is January the 6th. We, the video we had on earlier is when we planted this, so it's been planted a couple of months now. You can see right here, our onions are doing wonderful. Our cilantro, that always smells good. Here's our lettuce. We'll be eating this in a couple, maybe two, three weeks. There's our spinach. The spinach, we'll be eating that in a couple, three, couple to three weeks. Then, let me go over here and show you the carrots. These are some carrots I planted earlier on. These, some right here, are the ones we planted when we planted the hoop. So they'll be coming later this spring. But here's some that we planted later, earlier. See what a nice carrot that is? And our grandson, Keaton, he loves carrots. We'll be making him some of these. And here's a real big one right here. Let me if you can see the top of him. So here's a couple pieces of garlic that I stuck in. And I'm going to walk down in a second and show you our garlic, how that's growing. But this is going to be growing good. In about, like say, two to three weeks, we'll be eating a whole salad. Spinach, lettuce, onions out of it, and carrots. So now we'll take you down and show you the garlic. Okay, here's the garlic. You can see that's growing real nicely. We'll be harvesting that sometime about, I guess, June, July. So that's that's really doing nice. Now I want to take you back up and explain about the temperature of the hoop garden. Okay, today, this today is going to get like 50 degrees, so we'll leave the hoop off today. This crop loves the cool weather. Then tonight we'll just put the top back on. So whenever it's going to get real hot, we have to take the cover off because it gets too hot in here for it. Yeah, say when it gets up into 50, 60. So anything below that, it can stand it. And you can see Scooby, she loves to sneak into it. But anyway, this we, we just we love growing our vegetables in this in the wintertime, and there's nothing like that fresh salad when you go to eat it in January, in the January and February. Okay, thank you. Till next time. If you have any questions, you can email us at naturesfriends at embarkmail.com. Thank you.